I think being yourself is something that is um, so distorted in our world. Everyone's putting a mask on somehow. And Satanism is where you get to take that mask off and you get to say, you know what, I know I get angry, I know I get fearful, I know I get anxiety, I know um, I get jealous, I know I have these parts of myself, but I'm not going to let that get me down or feel guilty about it. But I am going to use that to help me to grow. And that is Satanism. There's no human or animal sacrifice within the Satanic Bible. It does not condone that criminal behavior in that sense. The reason also why we're so anti-human and animal sacrifice is because Satanism is the religion of the human and we revere life. So to take life is completely unsatanic. We want everything to live and to be prosperous and to grow. Another ritual that's heavily misunderstood is our lust ritual. That is the ritual where you are um, working to attract a partner for yourself. Again, you're going to create a visual in your mind of what the qualities are you want your partner to be, or you're going to write it on a piece of paper in that sense, and then you're going to raise energy. So the energy that's being raised there is not an orgy for all the people who think it is. It's purely a sense of um, getting in touch with your own sexual energy with inside yourself. And that's a very private ritual, not something to be done in a group in that sense. And then that is how you then raise that vibration to, in order to attract the partner. When I first picked it up, I mean, I wasn't looking for a religion at the time. Um, I was really just in my life, kind of, I thought I'm done with religion altogether. And then when I picked it up and I started reading it, it was like, oh my word, this is me. This has always been how I've looked at the world. And I kind of can feel now I can put a label on what I am. Um, and it was amazing. I mean, that's why, and that's how I got into satanic philosophy and satanism in the first place. We've got some medical professionals, we have a lot of people in corporate, um, we have drag queens coming in full drag, we have, um, yeah, like I said, all types of people. They don't necessarily look like me or, you know, someone that I think a lot of people would perceive as what a Satanist would look like. There's no way to say that everybody looks exactly the same because in Satanism we honor that individual part, um, that, that thing that makes you you, and we encourage people to be that at all times.